Thank you for joining us for our demonstration of how Sangfer Endpoint Secure protects two test computers, PC1 and PC2, both of which will be attacked by ransomware and both of which rely on Endpoint Secure to protect them in four separate attack scenarios. In the first demonstration, both PCs have no protection policies enabled. Our expectation was that PC1 would be infected with the ransomware, which would then spread to PC2, with both computers eventually infected. Before we try and infect both PCs with ransomware, you can see that the files are not encrypted and the original text content is displayed normally. Now, we turn off endpoint secure policies for both computers leaving both computers unprotected. First, we run the ransomware on PC1, simulating an attack. PC1 is quickly crippled by the ransomware virus. Here you can see how the files we viewed previously are unable to open properly, and now we see the ransomware information as well. PC1 is infected with the ransomware and the files are encrypted. When we look at PC2, we see that it has been successfully infiltrated by the brute force attack and infected by ransomware. Files can't be opened, meaning the demo results are as expected. For our second attack scenario, we have enabled Endpoint Secure Brute Force Attack Detection on both PCs. The expected result is that the ransomware will be unable to use a brute force attack to infiltrate PC1 or PC2, and both computers will continue to run normally. Before the PCs are infected with the ransomware, we see that the files in the computer are not encrypted, open normally and display the original text and content. To ensure the testing is accurate, we have only enabled Endpoint Secure's brute force attack detection, not any other protective functions. Now we are running the ransomware program on PC1. You can see that PC2 has received a pop-up warning window, alerting the user to a brute force attack. As we log into the Endpoint Secure platform, we can see from the logs that Endpoint Secure successfully detected and blocked the brute force attack launched by PC1 on PC2. Due to Endpoint Secure protection against brute force attacks, the ransomware was unsuccessful in its attack on PC1. Both PC1 and 2 files are able to open normally and remain uninfected. For our third demonstration, Endpoint Secure Micro-Segmentation is enabled for both PCs. We expect to see PC1 encrypted and isolated from the lateral spread of the ransomware, while PC2 remains unaffected. Both PC1 and 2 are infected by the ransomware. We check that the computer files are not encrypted and can be opened normally. For this third test scenario, only the micro-segmentation policy is enabled to block both PC's file sharing ports and remote access ports. After setting the endpoint secure micro-segmentation policy, the ransomware should not be able to spread through these high-risk ports. Now, when we run the ransomware program on PC1, we can see that PC1 has been cracked and infected by ransomware leaving the files encrypted and a threatening message from the attacker. Due to the micro-segmentation policy, PC2 is not affected, and you can see that the files can be opened normally. If you check Endpoint Secure's micro-segmentation log, you will see that the ransomware tried to spread from PC1 to PC2 through a shared port, but was successfully blocked by Endpoint Secure. For our fourth attack scenario, both PCs have Endpoint Secure's ransomware protection policy enabled. The expected result is that Endpoint Secure successfully identifies the ransomware through the use of a decoy and blocks the ransomware before it can run on both PCs. In the end, we expect both PC1 and 2 will be running normally without infection or encryption. Before launching the ransomware attack, the files on PC1 and 2 can be opened normally. 
we enabled real-time monitoring and ransomware protection policies on Endpoint Secure and chose the Fix option. In this state, when ransomware is detected, Endpoint Secure can automatically quarantine the virus. Here, we run the ransomware virus program on PC1 to simulate a ransomware attack. Endpoint Secure recognizes the ransomware and quickly blocks it and issues a pop-up warning. PC1 is not infected by the ransomware and files can open normally. PC2 is also not infected by the ransomware and files operate normally. As you can see, if you look at the Endpoint Secure security logs. For our fifth test, both PCs have Endpoint Secure enabled. We expect to see Endpoint Secure scan for similar viruses and malware on all files on both PCs and provide one-click fixes for any viruses. Here, we decompress the ransomware file compression package on both PC1 and 2. We manually use Endpoint Secure to scan files, finding ransomware on both PC1 and PC2. You can see that Endpoint Secure has detected the viruses. Endpoint Secure allows you to see security incidents, including the ransomware attack on PC1 and 2. To repair, select any security event, like the PC1 security event, and click to repair. While you make the repair on PC1, choose to automatically fix the same viruses on other endpoints in the future. After the command for repair is issued, you can see that the virus files on PC1 have been fixed and the virus files on PC2 have also been automatically fixed. Thank you for joining our demonstration of how Sangfer Endpoint Secure Protection can save your network and computers from ransomware attack. For more information on Sangfer Endpoint Secure or any Sangfer security, cloud, or infrastructure solutions, visit us online today or email us directly and let Sangfer make your IT simpler, more secure, and valuable.